On the eighth day of pleasure, my true love, that's you, <laughs> gave to me, become your own king, seven lights not dimming, six ways of playing, five golden rings, four brains with no words, three sex dens, two no one, love and trust and erotic sovereignty all right welcome to day eight of the 12 days of pleasure you know i'm really starting to love <laughs> reclaiming my singing voice <laughs> this week with you all um it's been super fun if you haven't watched the other 12 plays 12 days of pleasure you could just find the hashtag and every day what i'm doing is giving you a sex mastery tip something that i've learned over the past 20 years that will help bring you into your full aliveness your full pleasure and your total sexual freedom and the past couple days have been really rich really juicy really deep and this one is going to be just like those if not even deeper if you want to feel all of these tips fully embodied in your being, if you're getting curious and you're, if you're finding a tingling in your body as you listen to me, wondering what it must be like to live your life this way, make sure that you join us at Pleasure Alchemy, which is happening in just five days. Cinco, five days. I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> The people that are already joining, you guys are amazing. Um, let me know if you're joining. You can put a GIF in there. Um, let us know that you're going to be a part of Pleasure Alchemy. It is such a fucking hot weekend, a highly transformational weekend. The community itself is incredible for you to fall into it. You're going to absolutely love it. So if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, if you go to the top of my Facebook page and just click on my cover photo, you will grab, you can grab a ticket there. And if you're not already in the pleasure circle, join in there because you'll get lots of freebies, lots of gifts in there that pertain to the Pleasure Alchemy weekend. Okay, so tonight I'm going to be diving into a topic that gets my bones boiling. <laughs> this is a topic all about this new paradigm of king and queendom, right? And all of these masculine feminine teachings about finding your divine king, finding your divine queen, right? Becoming your own queen, um, being the queen in your relationship and finding your king or waiting for your king to come along. And I see this and to a certain extent, I love it because it's bringing us into a level of beingness that is requesting and expecting nothing less than full love and devotion. And for that, I'm super fucking happy about it. Now here's where it gets tricky, <laughs> is that these dynamics can become very easily ones of should, right? Like if my partner is not kingly enough, then they, then that's, they're not good enough. Right? If they're not doing this for me and this for me and this for me, then they're not good enough. And that leaves the king, the partner, feeling constantly less than, right? Constantly feeling like they can't connect with you. Or maybe you notice yourself sizing up your queen and noticing how well are they opening for you? How well are they, are they receiving, right? If you're noticing that happening, then you're not able to fully love and accept them as they are. And this is something that I see a lot of couples break up around. I see a lot of sexuality get really thwarted around this conversation where we start to demand from the other, right? We start to demand for them to change. We start to demand for them to be more something. And this is the, the real downfall of the masculine feminine conversation is that it puts us into these identity boxes that takes us out of our sexual freedom. Now I understand the base behind this, that if we have someone in their powerful king masculine and someone in their powerful divine feminine, when they meet and merge together, they find oneness, right? Which is what all beings are already. And it's a way of remembering that oneness. Now, here's the piece that often gets missed in these teachings, and this is really important. So if you are listening live or on the replay, I want you to type this piece in. In the tantric teachings, and not only that, but energetically in what I've seen, 
This oneness cannot appear unless the inner masculine and inner feminine within you is fully integrated, fully reclaimed, and unless you're able to really master the energetics throughout your system. So a lot of us have a weak attachment right, to certain energy types. This is when I play with where people struggle in sex mastery. I see this a lot, right? Not knowing how to move the energy within our own bodies or within the person in front of us. How do we polarize? How do we meet the other person energetically, right? These are these are tips that are not taught and these are tips that you can't read about in the masculine feminine dynamics because the masculine feminine dynamics are forcing you and your partner to fit into these labels instead of teaching you something that, um, I like to call the energetic agility, right? Or the movement of energy through your own body and the person in front of you. So how do we reclaim this energetic movement within our system? (laughs) Those of you that know me already know the answer. You can type it in if you already know. It's funny in my pleasure creation, which is my sex and business mastermind, where I help people come to 10K a month and owning their arrows and it's so much fucking fun I fucking love that group the whenever they ask me a question they answer it on their own like they go to ask me a question and they're like oh fuck Genevieve you're gonna tell us to self-pleasure right because this is the answer right there's a level of erotic sovereignty there's a level of saying okay the inner king in me and the inner queen in me get to mix and I get to become royalty I get to become the entire fucking kingdom. I get to become oneness of being and I can look at my partner and I can see their inner king and I can see their inner queen, right? Rather than saying, oh, that one's not allowed here, (laughs) right? Like, oh, you shouldn't be that or that one's not allowed here, right? Oh, I see the queen, I see the king and I see the oneness and the royalty in them. And then what I get to do is I get to dance within that. So if they're feeling in, let's just give it a label for just the sake of this conversation. If they're in their king energy, then I go, ooh, how deeply can I be in my queen? Right? Where can I allow that to show even more up in my body? How do I bring that those energetics through my system? This is something that I will be focusing on at Pleasure Alchemy if you desire. A lot of Pleasure Alchemy is designed toward you, so there's going to be a lot of segments where you can come in and talk to me and ask me questions. So this is one that if this is like hitting you and you're like, fuck yeah, Genevieve, this is what I want, make sure to come to Pleasure Alchemy and ask me to bring this up and we can actually go through an integrated embodied experience where you marry your king and queen physically in your body to then create from that space of being. If your partner is in their queen energy, and I don't care if they have a cock, I don't care if they identify as masculine, I don't, they can still be in their fucking queen energy because it is just as much alive in them as it is in you. If they are in that energy, we do not scold, we do not judge, we do not say that they are less than, we do not try to fix them. We see it, we honor the divinity, we honor the royalty there, and we put ourselves into our own king energy. And then we get to watch along the way, where are the parts of me that I have disowned this energetic in my body? Where are the parts of me that I'm not allowing myself to be whole and one? Where are the parts of me that I have told myself that I can only be one way and not the other? Whenever those boxes are in place, you are not fully free in your sexuality. And sexual freedom, as well as freedom of love, right, comes from this deep love and acceptance of all of the energetics that are at play. Sexual mastery appears when you're able to dance within the different polarities, all of them, it's a sphere, it's not just masculine, feminine, but all of them at all times, see them clearly, right, and then figure out how can you best be right, and the most loving and accepting and sexy way possible, responding to whatever energies inside you or outside of you, right? What is the best response or the best movement that's asking to be birthed through you in that moment? That is sexual mastery, and that is how we truly get to love ourselves and the people around us without putting on these stereotypes and these identifications of should or have tos, which is something that I see really showing up in the masculine feminine dynamic right now, right? The king not being man enough or not being this enough, right? And there's this whole like, we need to reclaim the men of the world, right? Like, okay, great. And what about the parts of them that are queens? And what about the part in you, sweet vulva bodied human who has a deep king part of you that have you have disowned, right? How much of you have you wanted to go and penetrate the world? Where have you wanted to go and claim things, right? How much is this tied to your wealth creation? Can you show up on a sales call and claim it and own it, 
right? Just as, as a cock-bodied king can, right? Or have you decided that because you're the feminine receptivity that you can't go out and get what you want? So I want you to just notice in your system where this, this compartmentalization of these energy poles are stopping you from really claiming and creating your reality exactly the way that you desire from a place of oneness, wholeness, and deep acceptance. So come ahead into Pleasure Alchemy. We're going to fuck with this even more. And then if you want to perfect this, this is definitely something that we do at Pleasure Academy. Pleasure Academy is a lot about this. So if this is something, actually the last Pleasure Academy, we had like five people come out as bisexual. Um, We had lots of non-binary play, right? Like this is something that starts to appear if you're sick and tired of the old paradigms of being one or the other and having to constantly fit into this box of how you think you should be based on what society tells you. So we're going to smash all that starting this weekend, moving into Pleasure Academy after Pleasure Alchemy, if you desire. I just want you to know that we've got the support for you. We're all lined up. I get how hard it is. There's not a lot of teachings out there that tell you that you can be full of yourself and that you're not doing it wrong to be full of yourself because you're really fucking not, right? So I just want you to celebrate all of you, claim all of you, let it all out, right? And from that state of being, what can you create? And what impact can you have on the world when you become fully alive? I will see you in just five days and I'll see you tomorrow as well for the ninth day of the 12 days of pleasure, which has been so much fun. So I will see you guys Friday night. Get your tickets now, 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 now. Invite all your friends now, 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 now. And I will see you so very soon. Love you guys so much.